Want to work around the Dante Scott screen. Back out for the deep three, and Maryland on the board first from long range, thanks to Aaron Wiggins. Two teams that have been defending at an exceptionally high clip, especially Maryland, five of their last six games. They haven't allowed a, an opponent to get above 61 points in those games. Here's Wiggins. Wiggins going to work against Teddy Allen. Nice spin, gets the hoop, and he'll go to the line for one more. Aaron Wiggins exploding to the rim. Reese Mona also out there. Wiggins to work once more. That's dump off to Smith. No good. Mona gets the offensive rebound. Hamilton will try from deep, and he'll hit. Look to push, but they're not going to look to push as often as they did just a few weeks ago after the COVID timeout. Allen fires up the three. He'll hit it in the 13 11 Nebraska League. Back up top to Hamilton, and that three falls. His second three, he's got six, and Maryland up one. And you see a two three. McGowan's. McGowan's on the drive, gets the two. Nebraska up one. Banton in the corner. He's hit one three now in each of the last three games. On the attack, ball poked free, and a turnover again. Long pass ahead, and McGowan's can't handle it. Teams exchanging turnovers, and Maryland quickly the other way to Hamilton. Driving inside, and the patience nets him two. Orsell got the open look for three. That rims out. Smith trying to tap it out, but it goes to Allen. Allen on the move all the way end to end. That was reminiscent of his game winner. Down the baseline, Scott gets free, and a little reverse gives Maryland the lead again. How good your defense is, that weak side doesn't have enough time to get over there. Allen popping out for three, and he hits the three. A 28-27 lead, the best conference ever by the metrics in college basketball history. I'm glad you counted that, because I don't think... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> What a rejection. Five on the shot clock. Allen in the paint, muscling it towards the rim. Will not go. Rebound Morcell. Maryland going to have to hurry. The heave from half court for Morcell. It's good. And Maryland gets three at the horn to take the four-point lead into the locker room. Ayala found some room on the baseline. His wraparound pass to Dante Scott. And there's the first points of the second half. Maryland was able to get the ball into the paint twice, and it results in a much, much better shot. Huskers in the first half had six assists on ten made buckets. That three, the answer, and a deep one from Trey McGowan. Allen inside, ball tipped away. Driving to the rim, and Stevenson with a bucket and a foul. He'll go to the line for a chance at a three-point play. Eight to shoot for Allen. Allen to work against Wiggins. Step back two. It falls for Teddy Allen. He's got 12. Five to shoot. He's going to have to hurry now. Ayala looking baseline. Gets around Banton. Muscles that one up and in. We've seen this though, struggling shooting from these teams. Oh, and right through the contact of Wiggins, Stevenson strong gets the bucket and a chance to tie it at the line. Huskers just six of 22 from the floor in the second half. Maryland five of now 15, making six of 16. Wiggins will go to the line. Has to kick it over to Ayala. His three is short, long rebound though to Wiggins. Wiggins curling to the rim. His two stretches the lead to five. Got to get the ball in some of those areas. You can't just move around the perimeter. Wiggins off the lob. Really nice play on the out of bounds from the sideline. Ayala against McGowan. He'll back it out. Wiggins now to work. Pretend to shoot. Wiggins on the drive. Count the bucket and a foul. Five to shoot for number five, Eric Ayala. Step back three. Oh, and that might be the finishing blow. Terrapins challenged in this one. They get the first in the series of two games between the Huskers and Terrapins. 64 to 50.